Alright, so today I'm going to show you how to set up the Super Nintendo emulator, or SNES. Um, so if you go to your ROMs folder, you can see that there are actually three options. Um, really, actually there's four, which I'll talk about. But um, the three options that you're given is SNES, SNES Pi SNES, and SNES, SNES 9X RPI. So there are three different emulators and uh, different games might work differently, um, depending on which emulator you use. I'm going to focus specifically on SNES 9X next. I, I, I lose, <laughs> I forget which names are which, but um, I'll show you how to set it up because the ROMs right here in SNES are based off of the Pocket SNES um, emulator and I had problems with two player on it. It wasn't really responding with my controller. Um, and it's not a controller issue because it's worked fine on other games for those controllers, so um, it had to be the emulator. So um, first things first, you want to make sure that you've got the right file types. Um, so mine got .srm, .state. Um, those are those are the save states um, files. But I'll just right click on one. You can see it's a .smc. Um, file type. So if you're not sure which file types you need for your ROMs, um, you can go into the ES systems config file and that will show you which uh, file types you need for which emulator. So in order to, to see those you type in cd forward slash uh, etc forward slash emulation station forward slash oh, actually that'll take you to file um, and so it's the ES systems config so you do sudo nano um, ES underscore systems dot cfg and that will take you up into it so you can see here it's got um, for emulation so this is the MAME advanced MAME emulator here and you can see that the extension of the file type is dot zip so when you're putting uh, your ROMs into the main folder, you're going to want to make sure they're .zip folder uh, files. And then Toria i800 for the Toria 800 um, .xvx. So if we go all the way down to um, the SNES, all the way down, I guess you could also search for it by just pressing Control W, which actually in my case might be easier. Oh, there we go. So Super Nintendo SNES, you can see the file types .smc, .sfc, .fig. So these are all the accepted file type or extensions that will work for it. So um, if you're ever confused or not sure if your ROM will work or if you need to extract it first, uh, as a rule of thumb, I typically do extract it. Um, just in case, but that will will show you the file types you need. So, um, because there were two-player issues when I put my ROMs into the regular SNES folder, um, with the RPI2, there's actually an experimental build for SNES 9 Next, um, and it is part of the Libretro core function so it will work with your retroarch config so you don't have to do any extra configurations for your controllers if you don't want to um, so in order to install that you go into cd I'll just go back home cd retro pi setup so we're just going back into the setup script so sudo full stop forward slash retro pi underscore setup sh so we'll take you into the setup script here um, so you're going to want to go into setup or experimental packages and then you go down to this one sns libretro core sns 9x next um, and so if you press enter it will take you to the build for it and it will um, it might take a while, it might, like, might look like it's not doing anything, but it is. Um, it took me maybe like 5-10 minutes for mine to go. But once it was done, um, so if you, you do that yourself, it's done, 
we'll go back into it. Um, go back into home, see retro pi. ROMs. So, um, when you install that experimental build, it will actually replace the SNES folder. So, what used to be Pocket NES is now the Libretro SNES 9X core. So, now if you put your ROMs there, like you don't even have to move your ROMs if you put them there in the first place. Now, when you start up your ROMs for um, Super Nintendo on Emulation Station, it will just run off the nine, SNES 9 X core rather than Pocket SNES. And that way you can actually use two controllers and you won't have any issues with that. I haven't had any problems with any of the games I've tested. And so that's what's worked best for me. I mean, if you did choose to use another core, um, for example, like not that one, Ron, so say you chose. Um, to do the Pi SNES. Um, it's similar to the configurations that you'd have like you did for Final Burn Alpha. It's got its own configuration file. So um, if you go into, um, if you did choose that one, to change the configurations on that one, um, you'll want to go into cd forward slash opt forward slash retro pi forward slash configs. Okay, so you can see that there is a folder for, um, actually, take it back. So you're going to see the emulators, sorry. Um, so yeah, you can see that there's a folder for PySNES right there. And so CD PySNES, and you can see that there is a similar uh, configuration file, just like the FBA uh, 2x. This is SNES9x.cfg. So if we go into it, you can see it's very similar to the Final Ben Alpha configs. So these are where you're going to change your controller configurations if you want to for that. Um, and then the quit 99, that's just like your hotkey setup to quit um, and these as well. So um, that's pretty much all there is to uh, SNES. I prefer to just use the experimental build with the SNES 9 next because that um, works with RetroArch configs and um, it works with two player unlike Pocket SNES, um, which is the default. So um, you can do that and it'll work just fine. It's worked for all my needs. So hopefully that's useful to you, um, but that, that's it.